This is Mindful Games, an exploration of the interactive experiences that help us calm our minds and bodies and understand our emotions. In this episode, we venture into the serene, subterranean world of Abzu. Abzu takes place almost completely underwater. All your character can do is swim and interact with certain objects. There is no dialogue, and the storytelling efforts are sparse. Despite having no real script, Abzu still manages to say a lot. Your primary focus is to reach the next area until you get where you're going, but through each corridor and giant gate are habitats teeming with aquatic life. You can examine each fish at your leisure, or pass them and rush to the end. You can reach the finale in roughly two hours, or add up to two more and hunt for the complete set of collectibles. Where some games give you a simulation or suggestion of mindfulness, Abzu is an opportunity to actively practice it. With only dream sequences and cave paintings to tell the tale, you end up looking closer at your immediate surroundings for context. You think less about what's coming next, and more about what's happening in the moment. This is the essence of mindfulness. So many games are about the next thing, the next level, the next match, the next skill point. Player motivation is a core tenet of smart design. While your eyes are always searching for the next passage forward, Abzu has no HUD, no quests, no inventory. One button activates the objects you discover, one gives you a burst of speed, and a third lets you grab one of the local fauna and go for a ride. That's it. peaceful sea life travels all around you, solo or in large billowing schools. Each area introduces new subjects to study after your presence draws them forth, and they're based on real fish, so you may recognize a breed or two along the way. Their presence gives you a chance to witness the behavior of beings seemingly unaffected by you hanging around. You're simultaneously an organic part of this world, and also a stranger sneaking through it. You can wake up flashlight drones to light the dark spots and open up pathways, but your tech is otherwise limited. Following each fish, or letting a few of the larger ones do the swimming for you, allows you to match their pace of living. After a while, you may begin to wonder what's really going on inside the head of each dweller circling below. As foreign, oxygen-guzzling humans, we'll never really know. What's apparent is that fish, like many animals, are mindful all the time. Little exists for them beyond the immediate here and now. For many upright mammals, this is a mental state that is almost impossible to truly achieve, let alone sustain. There's no easier way to do this than at one of the game's 12 meditation spots. Finding and resting on them shifts the camera to track one of the hundreds of fish near you. Nudging the right analog stick picks a target, and the left stick moves the camera. These points are so central to the journey, they're logged in a separate menu screen so you can revisit them for as long as you want. You are on a mission, complete with tutorial hints and end credits, so the act of playing Abzu by itself is not strictly therapeutic, but it comes close. Much like this show hopes to accomplish, it gives you a reason to consider slowing down your brain, focusing your thoughts on something other than yourself, and finding out what lies beneath when we leave everything else on the surface. Now that we have been given much to consider, let us take a moment to practice our own mindfulness. Breathe in, breathe out, and enjoy a few of the many sights and sounds of Abzu. Mm -hmm. 